All right, thought I'd make a video on how to do a doo-doo paint job or how I do paint jobs. This is, somebody wanted this, all right? You're probably better off going to somebody who knows what they're doing. I kind of do. I used to paint for a living, but paint like aircraft interior and mostly veneer and finish or woodwork. The top piece, the front piece for this DBXL is not done. I just wanted to lay it on for, to make this video. I still have that one little piece of tape and then the paint white. But otherwise this thing's done. But from a distance you can see this thing looks pretty badass, right? Try to separate the gray from the blue. No stickers at all. That castle, the low C, none of it is stickers. I'm going to make this video to show you how, kind of how I did it and what paint I'm using and what kit airbrush I'm using. So anybody can do it. I will say it's not easy. Otherwise everyone would have badass custom bodies. Here's a better view. That's not slow. All this is stencils and paint. That skull head looks badass on it. Dirty ass DBXL. Again, the top piece that you're looking at right there still has that little piece of tape come off. Pretty sweet. First thing you're gonna do is clean this shit out of your body. Clean it good. Clean it with Dawn dish soap, and I use just a scotch bright, but I just touch the panel. I go in one direction only. It's just what I do, all right? I'm not professional. There's a fuck up. See, now I'm going through showing my fuck ups. And remember, you gotta paint in reverse. Lay your stencils first. You gotta have a plan. I'd start with something simple. Don't try to put stencil work. Maybe just a two-tone. I think I'm going through showing all my fuck ups right here. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, this front from uh, two feet away looks absolutely beautiful, don't it? Now let me show you up close. Remember, this is my third or fourth body. Look at the little fuck ups. Look real close, you can see. This is supposed to be a professional grade stencil, as in you need to be a pro to be able to use that. But I tried anyway. And I just beat this thing, so. And it's for me. If this was for somebody else, I'd be beating myself up over these. See that? That's from peeling up the stencil with a Zacto knife and uh, stabbing through the paint. That came out perfect. I do, in fact, eat ass. All right, let me show you guys some of the paint. I use Createx opaque and pearlized. That was the blue, the uh, the gray was this metallic charcoal proline, and then the white was pearlized and opaque Createx. There's the red I used, and this pewter, that's what color it is, but it has like a blue tint. You gotta mix it real good. Look at the bottom. See, so you gotta mix the shit out of that. It has a little ball in it, just like a rattle can, just shake the shit out of it. I'm going to show you guys a couple of the paints that I use. All right, these are the paints. I got this little tray on Amazon. So I have spastics. This is the spastics that I used on the uh, Lamborghini. I use all these. These are oil based. You got to learn that enamel is water based. This is oil based. You never want to put water base and then oil base over it once you put the oil based you can put water base over that so just remember that that's the rule because you will have paint eaten through here's the Createx the opaque is solid you can't see through it I'm just going through showing all the water based uh, for the Createx though it's not specifically a RC paint so you need this balancing clear 
and then that balancing clear what helps it stick and the transparent helps thin it out just a little uh, here's some thinner from the pole line they also make it thinner if you're using a smaller needle gun works pretty good by the way here's the gun I bought bought it on eBay here's the stencils uh, Gabe Martinez sent me a lot of stencils for this I know it sounds easy right put stencils paint it it's not easy and a lot of these stencils I just got on eBay I am getting a machine soon that will I can cut my own stencils so there you go a lot of people have been asking there's a stencil look that, that's not easy 